हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नोमी एट जीबी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर उत्तराखंड जनरली देयर इज अ कंफ्यूजन बिटवीन कवर क्रॉप एंड स्मूदर क्रॉप एक्चुअली दीज क्रॉप एग्जाम्पल्स आर ऑलमोस्ट सेम सो देर इज अ कन्फ्यूजन दैट वट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू क्रॉप कवर क्रॉप एंड स्मूदर क्रॉप एज फार एज ऑब्जेक्टिव इज कंसर्न वैन वी टॉक अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्टिव both crops are entirely different and if we see the examples of these crops so these example may be same but there are some different crops and some are common crops in cover crop and smoother crop actually what is the basic difference between these two crop when we talk about smoother crop so smoother crop objective is to reduce the weed growth to suppress the weed growth so this crop objective is suppression of weeds in the field so these crops are grown to reduce the weed growth while cover crop objective is to reduce the soil erosion so they cover the soil and reduce the soil erosion so to reduce soil erosion so this is the basic difference between these two crop so smoother crops are grown to reduce the weed growth while cover crop are grown to reduce the soil erosion so in case of smoother crops for example we are growing and both are close growing crop these are close growing crop the uh, cover crops also close growing crops and we grow the smoother crops so they have deep root system and the close canopy so th- so we are we are growing suppose smoother crop like that so these these are deep root system deep roots and dense canopy dense canopy in case of smoother crop canopy means a leaf development so leaf development is more in case of this smoother crop so that's why when the, they uh, they compete to the weed so weed growth is very less so this black a uh, diagram or uh, weeds so weed root growth is less and this co- smoother crop have more uptake of nutrient moisture and occupy the more space as compared to weeds so that's why weed growth become very less and above the soil surface since canopy means leaf development is high so that's why they intercept the solar radiation and little solar radiation is available for the development of these weeds so weed root growth is less because maximum space soil space root uh, space is occupied by this smoother crop and above the soil surface canopy development is more so solar radiation availability is less to weeds so that's why overall weed growth shoot growth root growth is less and weeds become weaker so weed growth is less so they Uh, reduces the weed germination number 1 number 2 reduces the weed growth so that's why overall weed development of weed growth in that area is less so these crops are very competitive so we can say these smoother crops are competitive crops competitive crops are uh, competitive for uh, competitive crops against the weeds and these are fast growing crops which have dense canopy and deep roots so weeds become weak because they compete uh, with the smoother crop and smoother crop are more competitive than weeds so that's why they have more uptake of nutrients so whatever nutrient and nitrogen phosphorus zinc whatever nutrients are present so since the root system of this uh, smoother crop is more and vigorous so that's why they have more uptake of nutrients and they utilize for their growth while in case of weeds they compete with the roots so root development is less and that's why the shoot development is less moreover the solar radiation availability is less and they create the shading effect so canopy is dense so canopy is dense so solar radiation availability towards weed is very less and a uh, weed growth become uh, less so that's why smoother crop have suppression effect of weed so they smoother the weeds so they have more competitive than the weeds and the main objective is to reduce the weed growth so when we grow such type of crop in the field definitely weed germination is less and their growth is poor so their seed production is less so in next season 
the weed growth will be less because their seed production is less, their biomass production is less, their root deployment is less, their vegetative propagation is less. So when we grow the smoother crop over the years, so weed population becomes less. So this is a good uh, cultural practices to reduce the weed infestation in the field. Now what are the examples? So examples, we can think the example, fast growing, dense canopy, uh, fast root deployment and competitive. So legumes are the uh, good examples. Uh, legumes act as a uh, smoother crop maybe cowpea maybe moong bean uh, maybe urd bean and the clover and the barseen and the alpha alpha uh, these uh, crops are good example of smoother crop so when we grow the pulse crop or legume crops so since canopy is dense of legume crops, if we are growing the alpha alpha or barsim as a fodder crop or cowpea, moong bean, urd bean as a uh, for the food purpose as for the pulse production, then the weed infestation becomes less. So legumes are good example of a smoother crop. And beside the smoothing, legumes enrich the soil fertility, increases the nitrogen content, increases the organic matter. So these are the additional advantage of a smoother crop. But the main objective is the suppression of weeds so this is the main objective and the other additional objectives uh, are associated with the legumes if we are growing the legume as a, a smoother crop so in general legumes are grown as a, a smoother crop because they are very competitive and have dense canopy and deep root system now what is cover crop the objective of for cover crop to cover the soil and the main objective is to reduce the soil erosion. So these crops are grown in those area where soil erosion is a problem. So erodibility, soil erodibility is high. So there is more wind erosion or uh, water erosion. So, so to reduce this uh, type of erosion, we grow the uh, smoother crop. For example, uh, this is the uh, soil surface and there is more soil erosion. So soil erosion is more, erodibility is high. So over the year, soil fertility becomes poor because of soil erosion. So if we grow the crop which cover the soil surface like that, the objective is to cover the soil. So this is the canopy. So canopy cover the soil, number one. So that the if there is a wind, wind is there. So wind uh, effect is minimized by this canopy because they restrict the wind speed. So wind erosion is reduced secondly if there is a rain water rain falling raindrop so rainfall is there so this rainfall cause the splash erosion detachment of the soil particle so this uh, canopy intercept the kinetic energy of rainfall because these are dense canopy and they cover the 100 percent soil so there is no uh, area or space so that uh, they directly hit the rain um, by the rainfall so there is no direct uh, impact of rainfall on the soil surface so this canopy intercept the rainfall drop so energy is reduced so there is no direct contact of raindrop with the soil so there is no soil erosion so wind wind erosion wind speed is obstructed by this canopy rainfall energy is intercepted by then these have dense uh, root system dense root system so this root system dense root system bind the soil particles so over the above the soil surface rainfall impact is reduced wind speed impact is reduced and here the soil particles are bind together by these roots so when there is a runoff runoff or seepage then it is also reduced so because the soil particles are bind by these roots so they are close growing canopy as well as close growing roots so here objective is reduce the soil erosion so it means if we are growing the crop which intercept the uh, rainfall and cover the 100% soil surface. It is important that cover the soil surface so that wind speed is obstructed and the kinetic energy of rainfall is intercepted. So there is no direct impact of rainfall on soil surface. So soil detachment is reduced, number one. Number two, these roots bind the soil particles so soil particle transportation is reduced. And in case of soil erosion, these two phenomena take place. Number one, detachment. Another is transports. If there is a detachment and transport, then soil erosion take place. And in this case, canopy reduces the detachment of the soil particles and this root system reduces the transportation. So that's why soil erosion is reduced. 
so now what may be the example of cover crops so cover cover crop uh, should have the characteristics of a very good root system and good close canopy so that it cover the soil surface uh, above the soil uh, and below the uh, soil they bind the soil particles so legumes may be good examples because the legumes uh, have uh, good canopy and root deployment then uh, grasses grasses are very good binding capacity to soil particles and they cover the soil surface for example and uh, sudan grass is very good example sudan grass sudan grass close growing and it bind the soil particles similarly clover uh, clovers white clover sweet clover uh, crop is grown uh, then they bind the soil particle cover the soil surface and in some country oats is also grown as a cover crop oats so these uh, crops actually uh, dense growing so add the organic matter into the soil so they add organic matter so this is the advantage that they add organic matter so because of this organic matter binding is very good infiltration is improved so there is infiltration so whatever water is there it infiltrate percolate into the soil so runoff is reduced so why this process how they they have leaf fall they have root system so they add organic matter through biomass production and this biomass produces the organic matter and this organic matter increases the aggregate stability so soil erosion is reduced then it uh, improve the porosity so more infiltration of water so less chance to run off number one more percolation of water so water holding capacity is increases so water erosion is reduced so in this way they have obstruction to wind they have obstruction to uh, rainfall drop they have obstruction to run off that's why the soil is conserved at the place so these are the cover crop and actually these cover crops are uh, grown uh, not in the main season because in main season we grow the crop so already crop is there after the main season when the field is vacant field is fallow and field is open uh, and then there is more impact of wind and water so that's why after the harvest of main crop these crops are grown if there is no commercial crop is grown then these crops are permanently grown particularly uh, for grasses that provide the fodder if we are growing the cash crop or commercial crop or um, for the sale purpose for own purpose then uh, after the harvest of the crop field remain vacant for one or two months and during this period there may be soil erosion so uh, in this period these cover crop can be grown so when these cover crops are grown then these crops do not provide the additional uh, yield or the profit but the purpose is to conserve the soil while a smoother crop uh, grown as a main crop so a smoother crop grown as a main crop or as a inter crop so they give the additional advantage of the yield while in case of cover crops these no, do not give the additional advantage of the yield but the other advantage is a uh, check uh, the soil erosion so cover if there is a we are not suppose there is a field uh, open field and we are not growing the crop then we should grow the cover crop so there are two advantage first soil erosion is reduced number two this uh, cover crop we are growing the grasses provide the fodder for the animal and suppose we are growing the crops then after the main crop we can grow the cover crop to check the soil erosion in this case these crop do not give any economic advantage while smoother crop are grown as a main crop or inter crop so that's why they give the yield advantage so this uh, this is the difference between the smoother crop and cover crop so legume may be grown as a smoother crop or as a crop uh, as a cover crop it depends upon what is our objective if we are growing as a main crop or inter crop to reduce the uh, weeds then it act as a smoother crop and we are growing this uh, clover clover uh, legume uh, then uh, to check the soil erosion then it act as a cover crop so grasses or legumes both can be used as a cover crop so this is the difference in cover crop and smoother crops thank you very much